Tonight, there are ethics questions surrounding city treasurer Melissa Conyers Irvin. Turns out the city paid out $100,000 to two of her former employees who allege the treasurer misused taxpayer funds. Those allegations first revealed by the Chicago Tribune. Our political reporter, Marianne Ahern, joining us now with the story tonight. Marianne. Good evening, Stephan and Allison. Former Mayor Lightfoot would not make these allegations public. The attorney general weighed in saying release it. Still, it was kept secret until Mayor Brandon Johnson's administration revealed it all. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Melissa Conyers Irvin was re-elected as city treasurer this year without an opponent. Nearly three years ago, when the city was threatened with a lawsuit from two of Conyers Irvin's former employees, taxpayers paid a $100,000 settlement. The letter from their attorney was kept secret until finally released to the Chicago Tribune, detailing Conyers Irvin allegedly used government workers to plan her daughter's birthday party. And Conyers Irvin allegedly tried to leverage BMO deposits to help get a mortgage for her husband's landlord. According to the Tribune, the attorney representing the fired employees believed they were fired in violation of the Whistleblowers Act for expressing their concerns. Conyers Irvin recently announced her interest in running in the Democratic primary against Congressman Danny Davis. She spoke to us not too long ago while visiting Israel. The more and more I talk to constituents throughout the district, the more that I see that we need to make certain that we have someone that is in touch with what is going on in our residents' lives today. In a written statement today, reacting to the newly revealed allegations, Conyers Irvin says, quote, nearly two years ago, the city of Chicago settled allegations against my office in the most cost-effective manner. She adds, quote, I am not allowed to discuss the specifics of this settlement. I have never, nor will I ever, abuse or misuse taxpayer dollars and breach the public trust. Conyers Irvin's husband is Alderman Jason Irvin, who had supported Lifewood's re-election, but is now chairman of the powerful budget committee. As Conyers Irvin is a congressional race, she so far has raised the most money of any of the candidates, including incumbent Davis. We, of course, reached out to the attorney for those two former employees. He did not respond, Stefan, to our requests. All right. Marianne Ahern, thank you very much.